Guys, welcome back to the TaylorMade Performance Centre here in Truffit Golf Centre in Warrington. It's Trackman Tuesday, it's episode three. We're going to improve your iron play and we're going to talk about your turf interaction with a golf club. So let's go and take a look. Right guys, turf interaction and how to improve it. Low point, the lowest point of the circle of our golf swing. So <clears throat> what we want to find is as we make our swing, as we come down the bottom of the circle, the lowest point of it, where we are our most extended, we want that to be after impact. For the majority of you guys, it'll be before impact and that's where we get the fat shots, that's where we get the tops and the thins. So the sticker on the bottom of this hula hoop here, I'll put it behind the golf ball. So lowest point at the golf ball, for most of you guys, it's there. So you're hitting the ground or you're pulling the elbows and the, the hands away from the ground so that the club moves away from the ground and we hit the tops and thins. We want to see it. And when we, you know, we, you watch the guys on TV, you see that lovely ball turf striking and lovely Chris divots and the spin control. That all comes from low point being here. So after maximum compression, we've taken the golf ball and then the club is at its lowest point and the deepest point of the divot here behind the golf ball. Trackman measures it in what a term is of low point. Low point being measured in inches either before or after the, the impact. So I'm going to hit a few shots here and you know if we think in your mind the common one for before, pressure on the trail side, not shifting the pressure so not starting a downswing in the right sequence, keeping the pressure here and you would stick the club in the ground so you get the fat shot or you would pull the elbows away from each other so separating the elbows cupping of the wrist so feeling this wrist into early extension moving the club head away from the ground so we get the tops and the thins as well and you know for you guys who pick it clean off the ground and don't take the divot that's the kind of shot that you get so your low point would still be either really uh, either or zero or fractionally behind or fractionally ahead of but it's all done by manipulating the wrists and the hands coming through so what we want to do is we want to feel pressure sequence moving onto the left side and feel like we are hitting downward on it so that we get the club to hit the same spot every time now normally i would draw a chalk line on the ground which you've probably seen in a few other videos i've done with the, the object of getting the club head to constantly hit the chalk line. I would then put a golf ball behind the chalk line so that the focus on the swing and the movement would be to hit the line and just let the ball have that maximum compression and the way it goes. So when you're practicing this, use a bit of chalk on the driving range, draw that line, put the golf ball behind it and try and get the club to hit that line feel like you're hitting down on it feel like you're moving the pressure towards the lead side so let me hit a couple of shots i'm going to see if i can manipulate this a little bit and try and hit a bit behind first and then try and hit more than on my natural movement which would be the low point after impact so i'm going to try and make a couple of swings feeling low point before Okay, so I've hit the ground before there. So my angle of attack, plus 3.6 degrees. So I've hit it 3.6 degrees on the up. My lowest point, 3.3 inches before the golf ball. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try and transfer that pressure forward. So I'm gonna sequence better, drive in the lower half, feeling like I'm gonna move downwards on towards the golf ball. So from there, I've got a better strike, better flight, more control. My angle of attack is now switched to minus 3.6. So I've hit it 3.6 degrees down, and my low point is 3.5 inches after maximum compression with the golf ball. Okay, let me show you that again. So again, hitting downward, lovely strike, lovely control. That one there, to exaggerate it, minus 7.4 degrees down and the lowest point 7.1 inches after maximum compression, after impact. So if you guys can get the feeling of better transition, 
body moving towards target, feeling like you're moving downwards on it here rather than trying to scoop it and help it or get under it. You're going to improve the interaction with the club on the ground. You're going to get more consistency, you're going to strike it better, you're going to play better golf. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, post your comments in the box below. Love to know if this helps you understand the reasons why you would hit the ball fat and you would thin it and top it as well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social networks. The links are in the description below. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again next time on Trackman Tuesday. See you next week.